Hi, I'm Keiko at Wisteria Surrey Ranch, and today I am going to show you how to needle felt a fairy, <laughs> like these. Okay, so I will start with the materials, and um, if you've seen my angel tutorial, the difference between the fairy and the angels are that the fairies will have little legs, so there's a little more structure to creating these fairies. So I will cover the materials to create this pink one today, and I will give you the step-by-step -step tutorial exactly as I make it. And um, yeah, so let's cover materials first. So you'll need a felting foam and a felting needle. So these are barbed, and they, um, as you poke, it tangles your fiber because it's barbed. <laughs> it's good to have a, ga a 38 gauge all-purpose and then maybe like a 40 gauge fine gauge for more finer fibers because we do use, um, I use Surrey alpaca fiber for the hair and that's a little extra fine so it helps when you have a fine gauge needle. Um, some people also use a 36 gauge which is for coarser fiber but for this project I don't think I'll be using that needle. Okay, so um, if you want to support me at my Etsy shop, um, I do have this in a PDF tutorial. So you'll get the um, print version, which has like, oh, hold on one second. So I have a complete material list you can print out. And this is the print version. So you'll have like four squares. Um, and instructions step by step with a picture. I also have an online version which only has um, let's see 10 pictures per page and it's bigger so you can just kind of view it online but <laughs> it's a lot of ink and even with the print version it's like eight pages so um, I have that and then also when you go to Etsy and uh, support me there you'll also get um, the size guide that you can print out so this one's like four pages so you can kind of see all those fun steps we're gonna go through today there you go so I have these um, but the videos are always free so you can always enjoy them and I will be giving you the size and the weight as we go along so um, you know you don't need it <laughs> but it's very nice if you can support me there too okay so let's see where am I let me make sure I cover everything properly okay so you'll we already went through the foam <laughs> okay so then you'll need some white wool so I use roving which looks more like a rope um it's just a different form that it's sold in so there's roving and also just so you can see since I get questions this is a bat wool bat and a lot of times this is used for um, creating the shape of um, needle felted items it's a little coarser it's a little more like a bat it's more um usually comes in a bigger piece um, it's just the way they're processed <laughs> and um, but for this particular project the roving is much easier to handle and use of course you can work with a bat but I'm going to always try to look for the easiest ways to have the most successful experience <laughs> so I recommend a roving for this and you will only need 0.14 ounces or 4 grams so it's very little You'll also want the uh, the favorite like color for your skirt. It can be any color. This is also a wool roving, but again, you can use a bat and sort of straighten it out and work with it too. So there is about 0.25 ounces or seven grams to create this little cute uh, fairy. And, oh, just, sorry, I'm going all over the place, but just so you have a size. And again, this is all in your size guide but you can kind of see it's a, uh, how, how tall is she? Maybe about seven inches or so. And with, you'll have to kind of look at that. <laughs> okay. And um, she only comes out to like 0.6 ounces or 17 grams when you're done. So she doesn't weigh much. Okay. And let's see. Um, okay, so I use these are more like pencil roving, so they're just finer roving. This is actually Surrey alpaca. These were merino wool. That's just sheep wool. Um, and then this one is Surrey. I use this for wrapping the hands and feet and, and adding a little to the face with this color. Okay, and then I have a little bit of green roving for the decoration here, the leaves, 
Your little headband. <laughs> and then hair. Actually, yes, let me pipe cleaner. Don't forget that. Okay, so hair. I'm using Surrey locks. I only use like maybe two locks. So it's like this is considered the tip end and this is the cut end. And I actually only use like maybe two <laughs> pieces of lock for her. Um, just in case you can't get Surrey Alpaca locks, I, I, I have a bunch outside, so it's very easy for me to get those. You can also use roving, so, um, you know, it could have been something like this in a different color. You can use roving, you can get brown roving. Also, um, if you happen to have like just a fluff of wool of some kind, it might, it doesn't always have to be alpaca. If they have some lock structure, you can actually like you see see this. That's the tip. You can kind of pull it. Oops, fluffy. And there's your lock. So you can kind of find a few pieces in a big <laughs> fluff. That's one way. Um, also, if you do have that big fluff, that was the big fluff, what you can do is you can um, doggy slicker brush or with your hands, you can kind of just comb it out. The only key so that you don't end up with a bunch of shedding problems is um, all alpaca fiber, I'm sure all sheep and everybody's fiber and our hair, they all have length. That's called a staple length. So if you pull like that's kind of the length here. So she was, and I did align it a little bit. So that's her length, which is also the same as her lock length, like this. Okay. As long as you align it and you maybe hold the center and use this part as the hair place where you hold it in, or you have two lengths going in like this and another one, um, going this way and you keep it that length, you shouldn't have shedding problems. Okay. So you're actually using the full staple length there. Okay. And feel free to um, throw questions in the comments and I'll try to answer them. Um, so Surrey Alpaca, just for example, for hair, cause <laughs> that may be one of the things you might have a hard time finding. Um, it depends on the animal. So this is a totally different alpaca. This one's Kyler. And look at the structure, lock structure. It's different, very different. Okay, so um, yes, it was washed slightly differently. I was very careful cutting it exactly, tying it and washing it like this. So it did take a little bit more time to get it to look exactly like this. Um, as for felting it into the hair, this might actually be easier because it's a little fluffy. There's a little more for the needle to um, grab to put into the headpiece. So that might have been a little much on the hair, but um, um, hopefully that's helpful. Okay, and then the last bit we need um, would be the pipe cleaners. So you want the, um, let me give you the exact one. So you want five inches. Um, let me look at the centimeters. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Okay. Five, five inches, I'm sorry, five inches or 12.5 centimeters for the arm. Sorry. <laughs> and then this is usually the standard length that the legs, I'm sorry, the pipe cleaner comes in and this will be your body. So it's going to kind of look like this and attach. So if you're using anything else, this will be 12 inches and about 30 centimeters. So you got your size. That's kind of the framework. So if you have that size, it should work out pretty well for you. Okay. Um, I think I covered what we need to cover. Okay. So I'm going to do a close up so you can see my hands and uh, get a better idea. And, um, just for fun, um, for the fairies, I actually made them more like a butterfly wing. This one's a little fluffier butterfly wing. And then she got a bunny, one of my favorite animals. <laughs> so there's a lot of flexibility. So feel free to be creative and have as much fun as you possibly can. And hopefully you got all your materials and you're ready to start with me.
Okay, so um, just a quick note. I already forgot to tell you. Um, if you want to hang your little ornament, which is a good idea because she does have little legs, um, you'll want some thread, uh, sewing needle, regular sewing needle, and some beads. And I will definitely do that at the end and kind of show you how I string it. Um, okay. All right, so let's take the arms first. And this is, we're just gonna be wrapping it so that um, it looks nice and neat. Let's see, let me move that over. Okay, so the only thing that's really important is to use this fiber flat. So we don't want any twisting. So I'll just show you. Okay, so we're just gonna start in the center and I'm going to be kind of rolling it and you see how it's flat let me see if i can just do that kind of flat like this and no twisting no no twisting because then it won't stay so i'm just going to keep rolling this flat um and as we get to the edge okay hopefully the angle's okay as we get to the edge, so I'm going to keep going all the way, and then right here, okay, so I'm going to hold this, I'm going to kind of fold it over so that we have a clean end on the hands. Okay, and then this fiber is going to be hanging here, so I'm just going to go whichever way. There's a little piece of Hey, that's in the fiber. Let's see if I can get that out. Okay. All right. And you see how you can just kind of do that? Okay. Then I want this relatively thin and fine so it stays nice. I'm pulling it and drafting it. Okay. And I'm just going to keep rolling flat. You see how it's really flat on and not twisted? Okay. So I'm rotating the pipe cleaner like this. And then I'm keeping the fiber flat. It's, that's actually really important. <laughs> okay, so here we go. And all the way to the center. Okay, so go here. Then I'm gonna keep going, but I don't think I'm gonna have enough. So I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit. So two ways, you could just end it here. Let's just end it here, wrap it up. Just it up. Uh oh. Okay, and then I'm gonna start another one. Okay, so go again about the center. So when you go towards the arm, it doesn't have to be like super um, everything covered precisely because we're gonna go right over it. This is just kind of to anchor it in. Okay, so all right, so we're doing this all the way to the end. Hopefully, you can see. Okay, and then folding it like so. Okay, and then just kind of making sure it's nice and clean here, okay? <laughs> Hope you can see it good. All right. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull some of that off. I'm gonna roll it, roll it, roll it. And usually it should just sort of stay like that. If yours isn't staying, you can be super careful and poke it in with your needle just to stabilize it, but I usually don't need to if I do it tight enough and it's flat, okay? All right, so let's move on to the legs. So when you do the legs, I'm only going to actually do the part that shows because this part's going to get all twisted up anyway. So I'm only going to do like maybe this part. And Although I have a little place where I know is the center, I'm going to open it up. Otherwise, it's going to be really hard to wrap. So if you use the, um, let me see, the size guide, it kind of gives you the little arrow of Oh my, sorry, can't see. Okay, like here down, but you can eyeball that as well. So, <clears throat> and I think it actually tells you wrap, wrap by bottom fiber three inches, which is about eight centimeters for the leg, okay? 
All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do, it's the same exact thing we just did with the arms, but I'll just give you a few more opportunities. Just kind of watch like that. Okay, I'm gonna go a little faster. Okay, I'm gonna fold it, do the same thing. Okay, like that. Yeah, I've already probably spent about eight, nine hours creating the tutorial and step-by-step step, trying to find like kind of the easiest way to do it and seeing what things, um, you know, um, make it more easy to succeed. I love breaking things down and making stuff. So it's really fun, but <laughs> yeah. So, okay. So here we go. I ended up going a little too high, but that's okay. Don't worry. All right, so we're going to do the other side. Okay. And we're just going to keep going. And again, um, if you don't know, there is like a 1.25 speed uh, setting that you can just do. Um, there's like a little wheel on the bottom <clears throat> setting part for like YouTube. And you can just go faster. And then there we go. So I'm folding it again. Make that pretty tight, okay? Um, just so you know, you don't have to keep watching it at the speed. Unless you got a cup of tea and you're just doing it with me, which is fun. <laughs> which is fun. I don't know if you can hear. There's a guinea that's like making a bunch of noise outside. All right. So I ended up going a little higher. That's okay. Okay. And um, I think it's super cute to add a little bit of like fiber to make it look like they're wearing little slippers. So if you want to do that, you just take a little bit, really little bit. Okay. So I'm just grabbing a little bit of the pink, split that into two and just there. <laughs> okay. And then I'm just going to do the same thing. Okay. Like that. Oops. I'm just wrapping it so it's slightly different fiber here so okay. there okay so it's just a little wrap oh, okay and then I'm gonna do the same thing so whenever you have like a lot of fiber that's sort of flying all over the place you can just do a light pre felt I do that a lot actually with my hands to make it a little more manageable Okay, so I'm just doing it right over where her feet would go. Okay, that's a little more on this side. There. Okay. All right, so now I think you can see. So if one side's a little bigger than the other, you can always fix it, but I'm not going to worry about it for right now, okay? Okay, so now let's add um, the body. I'm sorry, not the body, the arms. <laughs> okay, so here's the here's the pre-done arms, wrapped arms. Here's the leg. I'm going to put it as center as I can, like that. Okay, and then this is where you're going to want to... You can angle it up just a little to hold it. Make sure it's even as much as possible. And then you're going to twist this here. So now we, we're twisting the body part like this. Like that. And you can twist it down. Let's see. I have it on the pattern here. So if you don't want to use a ruler, you can just kind of put it against. Let's see. <laughs> there. Kind of like so. And again, it can just be close enough is good. <laughs> You'll be fine. Okay. And just make sure that's tight, but we will be adding wool so it will um, it will stabilize. So I like to see if I can get the legs back together a little bit. So like that. That's twisted, but that's going to be okay for now. Okay. So now we got the framework. The next step, we're going to get the little... Um, 
we're going to put the head on first with the bit of wool and then we put on the base skirt it's just a little easier to do it in two parts so got a little bit of the wool i do have the weight measurements on there so it's about 0 0.04 or ounces or one gram of wool for the head and we'll see if i can do it on one shot eh, maybe a little bit more it's not a lot okay so you take some wool and then we're actually going to tie a knot so let's see she maybe put like two fingers in and then put that through okay and then you can sort of um tie it like this Sometimes, you know, it just works out real good. And other times you're just like, oh, get that little face going. Okay. And the good news is the face here will be covered with um, some more of this beautiful wool. So you don't have to worry too much. But I will show you a couple different things you can do. Okay. So this knot didn't turn out is perfect. Okay, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of hold it down like that. So that's your face, okay? And we're just gonna keep going for right now. So first we gotta secure this um, neck and head like here. What you do is you can just pull a little bit of this wool that's loose, and then you're just gonna hold it and sort of wrap it like that. Okay. Usually that requires maybe a little bit of securing okay so i'll poke it okay and if that feels a little loose which this one actually does so let me match it the size is okay but not super happy with it so a couple things you can do one you can use your needle to shape it so i'm going to go ahead and see if i can show you how to do that so I'm just going to gently poke and sort of make myself feel better. <laughs> okay, like that. Okay. Okay. That looks a little bit better. The other option, and I might just do both for right now, is to take a little bit more and you can just sort of wrap around the face because just make sure you still have this pretty clear because this is going to go over the arm okay so just make sure you still have that split and you know where the front of the face is okay and i'm going to actually go like this and just sort of wrap the face head like that okay so it's gonna look like this that's a lot better i like that okay and again you really can't make any mistakes so you just flow with it and sometimes the knot comes out so perfectly and you're like all right that's it i'm moving right along other times you're like oh my goodness <laughs> what is going on oh my i actually have like three big dogs and i think one's in the house one's in and out of the house so a little bit of noise okay so i like that that's much better i feel good <laughs> all right so now we still have that front and back and then that neck is still tied so this is where we're going to let me move this over and make sure you can see me so this is gonna go right over the arm like this oh wait which way do i want to be front? okay actually i'm gonna want i'm looking at the legs it's just whatever is more natural Okay, I want this, this is gonna be my front. So, sorry, I'm gonna look at it for a minute. Okay, and I'm going to go like that. And so the head's above the arms and then the little two flaps gonna go front and back like that. And don't worry, we can move the arms later, okay? So now I'm gonna hold this tight so the head stays in place. And again, um, you can take a piece of this wool. Actually, there's not a whole lot here. So I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a little piece like that. That wasn't very little. 
Okay, and then I'm going to wrap this right under the arm to secure it. Okay, so secure, securing the head. Okay, and then I will go ahead and just poke this off to the side because you got that wire, so be real careful or you'll break your um, needle. All right, so just super careful, just has to be there. All right, so I'm gonna lower her arm a little bit. Okay, so we got the head on now. Now we're going to work on the base skirt. So the base skirt is 0 0.07 ounces or two grams. Um, let's see, yeah, it looks kind of about this much. I think I might just save a little bit out. Okay, and you can just sort of fold it in half to see where the center will be. And this is where we're gonna um, kind of open up to put our head through, so. Just teasing it open like so. Okay. Okay. And then I'm going to put her head through like that. Okay. And then again, I'm going to hold it. Okay. So I'm holding her right under her arms. There. There we go. Like this. My arms don't move that way, do they? Okay. Ah, oh, there. Okay, and then I'm going to tug this gently down on both front and back like that. Okay, and then I'm going to squeeze this even tighter, kind of watch where her arms are. And then, a good thing I saved a little bit. You can also just sort of, depending on what you're using, you can pull from the bottom here like this too. Okay, and then I'm going to use this and wrap right under the arm again, like that. Okay, and this again, I'm going to hold and poke. I'm not poking super deep and hard, I'm just kind of poking this in to make sure it stays, okay? Okay. So, so far, she will look like this. Okay, so I'm kind of looking at it going, whoa, that side's super puffy and not even. <laughs> and of course, she'll have a bigger skirt on later, so it can be fixed later, but if it bothers you, you just poke. So I'm gonna show you how I'm poking. I think you can see oh, this one maybe. Okay, let me see. Okay, so I'm just kind of like poking in. See how you can already make it a lot smaller and flatter? Okay, so I'm gonna poke that in. Sorry for the weird angle. It's a little harder to work backwards, but hopefully you can see. But see, I'm just kind of showing you what can be done pretty quickly and easily. Okay, so now I'm gonna look at it and go, oh, okay. And I'm going to just kind of keep poking away so that it's not super big. So when I put the bigger dress, the colored wool robing on, um, it won't be all puffy here. It'll be a little easier to manage. And again, be extra careful because we do have those wire and your needle will break. So just super gentle. Okay, so you can already see a big difference. Yes, okay. All right, um, the next step is going to be, we want the skirt to be puffy. So that's another little different thing between the angel tutorial and the fairy. So we have our skirt kind of puffing upward. Okay, so I will show you that in just a second. So the skirt, so the skirt, okay, so, um, you are just going to take the front and then sort of like tuck it in, fold it up like this. Let me see. Yep. Okay. And let me move that out of the way. There we go. Oopsie. Okay. 
Okay, and then kind of like you would sew a skirt seam, we're going to take her like this and then just kind of poke away. It doesn't have to be super tight here, just so that it's out of the way and you kind of can see the length. Okay, so that, and then I'm gonna push that back. Okay, and then we're gonna do the same thing with the back. So I'm going to fold it in. Okay, and book. Again, it's just so that it's there folded and easy enough for you to manage. This doesn't have to be super tight or anything, okay? So that was really super quick. Okay, and then we're going to, and again, see how that's already coming apart, but that's okay. So now I'm going to put it like this together, front and back. I'm gonna look at the length, go, that looks fine. And then I'm going to, um, poke it together on the bottom. I'll show you in just a second. So I'm just poking. So she's stuck to my foam right now. <laughs> but I was just poking like this, the bottom first, like that, okay? And then we're going to do the side seam, like that. And since um, this is the base, you're not gonna see it. It's okay if it's a little sloppy we're just this is to just give it that poof extra poof okay like that all right good okay <laughs> so right now her skirt looks super poofy and you know you can if that's too wide then all you have to do is you just kind of have to angle it, angle your needle. I think you can see. Angle your needle this way. Again, there is a pipe cleaner in there, so be gentle. Don't go super deep. See how you can already fix that? And then I'm going to go ahead and do the same on this side. Okay. All right, so. No one's ever going to see her underskirt, so that's good enough. Okay, so now the face, I want to cover her face with a, a pretty fiber. So this is um, my Surrey Alpaca, and it's nice and glossy, lustrous. Okay, but you can use anything, and you don't even have to cover it. If you don't um, cover it, then just make sure that you have a little bit of that white fleece that and just kind of make it look prettier like it especially if it was just the knot <laughs> um kind of like how i covered it just like that that would be fine or you can do what i'm going to do with this fiber and put it on her face so what i'm going to do let me move that over okay so i'm actually going to do what i call pre-felting which is just kind of felting gently in my hands and I'm just going, putting it between my palms. I'm actually going in a bit of a circle like this because I'm trying to make it into a circle. Okay. Okay, and then when it's the side, okay, so I, I keep going in a circle until I get to the size I want and the thickness, okay. And then if I just want it to kind of stay this size, but a little firmer, then I just do it like a kind of a heat and rub. Heat and rub, and then maybe both directions. There we go. All right, so. And then you can kind of adjust it however you want, but see how it's already like, look at that, isn't that cool? Okay. That is going to go on her face and readjust. Okay, so the way I like to attach it on her face so that her face doesn't have a bunch of holes, and since I don't, I want to keep this kind of nice and gentle looking, I'm going to put it here. I'm going to show you. So, where her neck is, I'm going to put hold it here. I'm going to go like this, and then I'm only going to be poking around there. Okay, so I'll show you. So I'm not poking on the face, I'm poking the edges. Let me show you what it looks like on the bottom. So see, 
how I just poke the bottom for right now. I haven't done the top yet, but I'm not poking here just to keep it as um, nice as I can. It's okay, especially if you have a fine gauge like a 40 or maybe even a 42 gauge needle. Um, but if you use like a coarse needle, you have all these like big old holes in her face and it won't look as nice. Okay, so that's off to the side. Just gonna carefully. And since um, her, she's gonna have hair on the back of her head, this doesn't have to go all the way, but you can kinda, it just kinda depends on how much fiber you had. Okay, so see how that looks pretty nice already? Okay. And if you want to, you can also, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do on the foam, but I'm going to just kind of pull the edges like this and then poke. Okay, so I'm just pulling the edges here. And this is the back of her head. And she will have hair here, so again, you know, it doesn't have to be fully covered. Okay. And her back of her head's getting a little squished, but again, all good. <laughs> It'll look cute when it's done, promise. All right. Okay, so here she is. And also just know that you can always kind of like use your fingers and sort of, you know, if you want the head to be a little more this way, just use your hands. Okay. So just gonna kinda look at her pretty little face make the minor adjustments and here we go okay so now the fun part well they're all fun okay so let's get the pink so the pink wool um you need like a total of what did i say about point two where are you instructions um sorry i wrote everything down so 0.25 color wool but her skirt let me see Sorry about that. <laughs> okay, here she is. Since we need to make sure we save enough for her beautiful wings, um, her color wool skirt will be 0.18 ounce or five grams. Okay, so I'm gonna eyeball it. Um, so here. Since this, I think, was about 0.25 ounces and 0.07 ounce is the wings, I'm going to kind of eyeball it and go, I want maybe like this much in wings, okay. So with wool, I don't ever cut because we talked about that staple length. Okay, so let's see, now it's coming apart. There we go. So we talked about that staple length and when you cut, um, it's it just, when you work with fiber, like with the animals and stuff, the only time we like to cut is when you shear <laughs> off of the animal, fiber off the animal. Okay. Um, just because it has staple length and when you pull it, it'll break at the right place. Okay, so we're gonna do it the same way. So we're going to fold it in half like this. Oh shoot, my battery's low, okay. Like that, same thing. We're going to poke a hole in the center like this and put her, put the head through like that. Okay, and then same idea. It's just going to be with pink, okay. You can just sort of adjust it along Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and pull from a little bit of the back. Again, just kind of gently pull and you'll get the right length, staple length. And under the arms again, so just kind of wrap that nice and tight. Looks like my camera battery's not holding very good charge. It's an old camera. <laughs> All right, so we're going to poke the um, little fiber that we sort of tied around with. Okay, I'm gonna do this on the back too because I don't want this one to come loose on me. Okay, so far so good. Okay, and here I like to kind of spread the skirt out to make sure that I'm gonna be able to cover the white ones. I'm gonna go ahead and do that first on the front. 
if you can kind of see and then the back so now that the waist area is secure we're just going to fluff it up like that mm -hmm. and it looks like this now okay and we're going to do the same thing by folding the um, bottom but just make it a little longer so let's see can I see okay so yeah this is just kind of looking from that make it just a bit longer because what we're going to do is after we um, kind of hem it we're going to push it in to sort of fluff it up like this you see kind of we're going to push it in to fluff it up so that it kind of has this cute little poof at the bottom all right so just kind of holding that in doing the same on the back okay so just folding can you see just folding okay and then poking away oopsie okay there okay so I'm gonna pull that off the foam gently all right looking cute so far oh i like it <laughs> okay oh and she her skirt actually looks like a petal i like that all right so now we're going to do the same thing again so we're going to kind of um felt the sides like we did and then the bottoms together and just make sure you leave like the leg part open so that's all i'm doing that's all you're going to be doing Okay, sorry if you can't see for a moment. Let me. Okay, so let me just show you the side I already got done. Ooh, is that side done? Okay, side and there. Okay, and then this side, you see here. So I'm gonna have to hold it down. Okay, so I'm just holding it down. I'm just poking the sides just like we did with the other one, just so I can make sure I cover that white base skirt. That right side? Yeah, there we go. Okay, so I'm gonna make sure both sides are in. Okay, and then of course, when you pull it off, just be really careful. There we go, otherwise you'll pull it right off okay all right so so far it's not even but it looks like this looking pretty good okay and then from here we're going to just clean her skirt up so anywhere where you can see like that white you can just poke it like that okay and then I'm gonna poke it in going this way a little bit to give her the poof okay like that Gonna poke in the sides a little better. Like that. Oh, it's quiet. No, the dogs are quiet. <sighs> the chickens, roosters, and the guineas aren't making any noise. Goodness, what happened? <laughs> okay. All right, so yeah, just keep poking away, kind of um, getting it to look how you want. Okay, because this is your fairy. <sighs> okay, so, so far I got this. Um, I want a little bit more maybe this to go down. So let me see if I can show you from the side. Okay, so it doesn't have to, but if, if that's what I want, then I poke it like that. And they'll sort of flatten and come together a bit. Okay, so I'll show you in just a minute. All I'm doing is I'm just poking it down a little. So you can kind of see. All right, yay. Wow, we're making a lot of progress here. Great job. <laughs> okay, so I think the hair is next. Just make sure I follow what I wrote. Okay, yep, the hair is next. Um, 
Okay, the battery's looking suspicious. <laughs> All right, so the hair. So, where is my hair? There you are. Okay. So for this particular one, I was trying to find an easy way to do the hair and I'm actually going to be using two locks. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually gonna put one, I'm just gonna show you first so you can sort of see. I'm actually gonna put one like over going like this with a tip down like that. And then this is gonna get kind of hidden on the side and back. And then I'm gonna go like this and do the same and put the tip on this side and kind of go like this way. And I found that's like one of the quickest, easiest ways to just get some hair on, okay? Um, if you have roving, it's actually probably even easier. You just take a little strip, just place it on top like this. And, you know, you might need to kind of sort of hold it in place and do little fancy stuff on the bottom. You might need to add a little bit to the back a little bit um, if it's, you know, if or, or you might just be able to tease it down but you can always just add a little more hair with another piece and then style it kind of putting it together okay so feel free to do that um, again also with kind of loose combed wool fleece similar idea and you can braid it or do whatever okay so that's hair and we'll start to attach that but I'm gonna change my battery I'm back. <laughs> uh, thank goodness I had a spare battery charging. It looks like I've got enough juice to get that going. Okay, so I think I already explained the whole hair thing. So I'm going to go ahead and take these locks. And you might have to be really flexible with the uh, hair sourcing and all that good stuff because eh, it just depends on what you can get. But everything will work just fine, okay? All right, so I'm going to position it. like this and give me just a minute to poke it in place I'm gonna do a preliminary poke so you can kind of see what I'm doing okay so that was just a preliminary poke it looks messy um, and then I'm just gonna keep poking that in Okay, so right now it just kind of looks like this because it's one side and it takes a little bit of styling <laughs> after. So let's just keep going. Okay, so I got something that looks relatively even. Actually, it doesn't even look very even right now, but that's all right. Okay, so I'm going to try to um, make the tips about the same length. Okay. And it's gonna go this way okay so looks kind of like that little hairy monster <laughs> okay and then I'm just gonna go ahead and poke and then we'll see how we can style her pretty little hair okay. I'm gonna try to give her a good hair day <laughs> Uh, okay, we'll see. It's, so, so far, not quite a good hair day yet, but she's getting there. Just like she just woke up. <laughs> well, when I just woke up. Okay, so we'll keep poking. And remember, we've got the wing um, um, wings coming up in the back. So the back, you know, doesn't have to be perfect. And... We're also going to add a flower and a headband. So, you know, we'll, we'll be able to make it nice and cute. So, no worries. All right. And if it kind of keeps poking out, you just sort of keep poking it back in until you get like the look you like. Okay. I'm actually having to poke her face a little, but I think I have a fine needle right now. Okay. Because her hair is falling in her face and I don't want that. Okay. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Getting totally into it. Poke, 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 poke. Okay. 
just so we can keep moving. I will sort of try to stop myself. All right, so, okay, so I haven't styled her hair yet, but the locks are in, okay? So the locks are all in and her head's relatively well covered. Okay, and again, the wings are gonna come here, so she'll, you'll see a little bit of this, but there's no need for hair back here unless you want it. Okay, so from here, let me see. I'm going to look at her and go, how should I style her hair? So, okay. So I think I'm going to actually pull her hair back a little like this. Okay, so this is all stuff you can have. And I mean, you know, you can even make little buns on the side. Well, let me see, how would that look? Do I want buns on the side? Yeah, I'm gonna do buns. Okay, so I'm just gonna poke and sort of see if I can make it into like a little cute bun on the side of her head. And I'm going to probably put some big flowers in there. So, yeah. Okay, so I got one side. If it doesn't work out, you can always just pull her hair out and put, put different hair in, okay? So, again, you can't really make a mistake. Just have fun with it. And just keep poking and playing. Oh, see? That's pretty cute. Okay. Okay, she hasn't quite seen the professional stylist yet, but, all right, let's see. Once she gets her cute little hair and wings, it'll just all kind of come together. Okay, so, Actually, when I did that, her face fiber sort of slipped. Okay, so she's like this so far. <laughs> okay, and let's see, am I doing her, let me see. Uh, we're going to do her wings and then we're going to do her final decoration stuff. Okay, so let's do her wings next. Okay, so I do have a little pattern, um, but you can kind of eyeball it and do it however. Um, let me see, this is 0 0.07 ounces or two grams of colored wool. Um, a little fun thing I should probably show you or just maybe mention it. Um, if you wanna put like little sparklies, I'm just gonna do it, hang on, give me a sec. Okay, so this is called Angelina Fiber and you can do Angelina Fiber or just other pretty color strips of um, wool. And if you want to kind of give her wings a little bling, let me see, get stuff everywhere. Okay, so I'm gonna add like this much. And again, check the staple length. So if it's like that, that's the right length, then that way if you hold the center, you might shed a little, but you shouldn't be losing it, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it on the center like this so that it's going to show on the wings okay so that's when you would add anything that you want um like any other color roving this would be a really good time to do it okay it'll just be more stable you can do it later too it's just this will be the most stable way to do it okay so grabbing a little piece i'm gonna see if i can get the center and then we're going to hold it and tie it So I wrapped it, mm, even enough. It's not quite as even as I like, but let's go ahead and go with that. And then I'm poking the center to secure. Okay. So, so here too, you could probably like see how I think 
this side feels a little long so if I hold it really nice and tight I could sort of trim it down there we go I'm gonna trim it down okay so from here I'm going to make it into butterfly shapes so I'm going to split the 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 sparkly Angelina sometimes I think they're called Firestar I don't actually know the difference between Firestar and Angelina they're just shiny <laughs> I just go for the shiny fiber all right so split that in half and then I'm gonna look for like kind of an even split here like that okay I'm gonna do the same on the other side so I'm gonna split this the shiny fiber and I'm going to split the wool like this okay okay so far so good so it looks like this okay and you can match it if you want with the pattern you don't have to um, my angel tutorials have more of like the angel heart shaped wings and different slightly different shapes okay so now I'm actually going to spread out the um, shiny fiber Angelina fiber like that so it's kind of covering it I'll show you just a sec see Ooh, magical <laughs> okay oh fun okay so let me move that over okay so then um you know how I like to use my hands to sort of pre-felt okay so two ways you can just use the felting needle and poke into like the shape you want I love using my hands so look at that isn't that cool Ooh. okay so so I'm doing a super gentle one here and then I'm trying to kind of roll the tips a little bit tight there we go nice mm -hmm. okay here we go a little bit more oh my my big puppies okay. and the last one Oops, am I just going off screen here? Okay. Okay. So, I have this like that, and then the back looks like this. So pretty. Okay. So, now I'm going to match her like this. And look. So I'm checking her front and making sure it's going to be in the right position. And then I look at her again like that. And then, okay, so when I put her on the foam, since I don't want to squish her pretty little face, I'm going to put her head a little bit over. So let's see. If you look from here, I'm going to be putting her head a little bit over the foam because I'm going to be putting this right at her shoulder. Okay, so then I'm going to poke at the shoulder that way. So, you know, I've done it with without thinking and then I turn it over and her face is all squished. <laughs> yeah, and then I had to fluff it back up. So you can fluff it back up. No worries. But this will save your pretty little fairy face from a face plant on the foam. <laughs> All right. And there is um, pipe cleaner. So again, just, just be really mindful and don't force your needle, okay? If it comes to a stop, pull it back up. All right. Okay. <gasps> nice. Okay, so there, see? I don't think she looks like she got a face plant. Oh, looks pretty good. Okay. Okay, so then at this point, you know, you can just kind of look at her and decide, like, do I want the wings a little bit down? How do I want her wings? Adjust as you need, okay? All right, so, ooh, now the fun, fun, fun part. We get to do all her cute little decorations, okay? All right, so. I'm going to keep this super simple so she just kind of looks like a little cute flower fairy and um, we're just going to use I think pink and green yeah okay so 
you really need like a tiny, tiny, tiny bit. Um, we'll just go ahead and do it like this one. Okay, so I'll just show you exactly how I did this one. Let me make sure. Okay. So even more. Okay, so let's do her headband first. So, okay, it's probably too big. So I'm gonna fold it maybe like that. And you can also poke this and kind of felt it, but here's kind of the, the headband. I'm going to sort of match it. Ooh, perfect. Okay, so then I'm just going to poke it in her head. That's it. There's her headband. Okay, let's do her little skirt leaves. So I'm gonna try and see if I can do like three similar sized leaves. Okay, so we're gonna go about like that. Maybe a little bit more. I'm gonna add a little bit more. So I'm just grabbing like maybe three bits. Okay, and then I'm just folding it in half <laughs> and again you can use the foam to felt it into the proper leaf shape but what i'm just doing is i'm doing a quick pre-felt and then as i felt it in i'm going to shape it so i'm putting it on her like this it's not quite perfect but actually let me start in the center okay so i'm just going to poke in the center going to kind of poke it in and then I'm going to fold it up a little to give the tip a little cleaner look. Okay. And then I'm just going to poke it in and cover that center hole. Mm, kind of like that. I think you can see. Yep. So we're going to do that two more times. I'll just show you. Okay, so I'm just folding it. Let's just make both leaves. So if you want to use the foam, you go like this and then you just sort of, I like to round out the top and then I'm going to make it a little more pointy on the bottom and then outline it. And then I'm actually going to fold it up a little bit because it's too long. So that's another way to make it. Get the leaf. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do the other one too. And if you have like lamb locks, baby lamb locks, I guess babies are lambs are babies. Sheep are the, yeah, so lambs, <laughs> sorry. Lamb locks um, or any other cute little colored locks or um, yeah, cute little locks that are dyed or something. You can just use that. I think that's what I do in my angel tutorial. Um, I was just trying to do it with as few materials as possible. Okay, so now that I have two more leaves and trying to kind of limit the color so you don't have to go, you know, get everything. I will try to get a kit together. Um, I will try to get a kit together, but you can probably just use the angel, angel material. Um, I have an angel material pack. Yeah, I'm going to try to make the kit for this, but um, the, if you're, if you already have like needle and foam, the angel material, I think I have like a three angel kit and you can just leave me a little note or something and just say hey I want to make the fairies can you throw in a few extra um, pipe cleaners because that's probably the main difference you'll probably be able to make more fairies because I think fairies use less um, fiber oh very good very good very good Ta -da. Dun, dun, dun. Now she's gonna have friends okay so next <laughs> um, I'm gonna show you the little flower and again if you have curly locks you can just and pew, pew, but um and her little ha headband but another easy way to do this is 
Okay. You need like a tiny, tiny bit like this. So I'll have more there. Okay. And actually this is kind of the same concept as spinning a little yarn. Okay. So you're going to just initially just kind of do a couple little twists and then hold it, like wrap it in your finger so that it stays. And then using maybe both hands or one hand, you're just going to keep twisting it. So it's actually easier to use both hands. So you're kind of holding it, stabilizing it, and then you twist it, hold it, keeps twisting, and then keep going down all the way as far as you can. Okay. And then it'll, it'll, it'll start to create enough of a twist. See, it's like how that's like a double ply yarn <laughs> like that. And then once you got enough twists like that, and it tr um, twists onto itself, just hold the um, edge it, it ends. Okay. Otherwise it'll unravel on you and you go, Oh no. Okay. So I'm holding the ends. It should be okay at this point. And then from here, all I'm doing is I'm going to, um, actually this is a smaller one. So I'm going to put, put it, I'm going to poke it here into her headband area. And then I'm just going to kind of poke the ends in until it kind of looks like a flower. See how you can just sort of, it's all like cute little twisted. <sighs> Can't quite see, huh? So that's just a quick, easy way to make like a little decoration. Okay. Sorry. I think the video cut out for a minute. Okay. So now we're going to make a little bigger one for the center of the skirt. Okay. So same idea. I'm just going to leave the pretty little girl here. Okay. I'm going to use a little bit more. I don't know. Not too much. That should be good. Okay. So I'm going to do it again. Wrap, 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 wrap. Okay. So this is just, I'm wrapping the top so I can wrap it around my finger. So I'll stay there. Okay. And then I can keep kind of wrapping this. <laughs> Okay, so see, just keep wrapping and then see if you start, yeah, you keep going until the twist is so tight that it basically wraps on itself like that. Da, 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 da. <laughs> there. Okay. I lay it. Here we go. Crinkle, crinkle, crinkle. Okay. So now I'm holding on to both ends and then I'm going to put it where her center is and then I'm going to poke it in. easy cute <laughs> all right okay so now we're going to finish up by adding the thread and again darn my battery's just not doing so let me just tell you what we're doing because I'm not sure how that's gonna work out so I'm actually gonna go in with the beads through here I'm going to poke out through her shoulder over back through the other shoulder and I'm going to come out and tie it in the back Okay, so I try to get a little extra. I love to use gold or silver thread because I think it's pretty. And, okay, before I thread one end, I'm going to use beads so that it doesn't slip right through because it's wool and it might slip right through. So these are just regular beads. Going to just get the end of the thread, thread maybe like three, two. Oh my, I can't see where the holes are. There it is. One. Okay. Two. I'm just going to do two like that. And then I'm just going to tie it. There's probably like much better ways to do this, <laughs> but it works. It works. You do it however works for you, but this is just one way to do it. Okay. All right, and I'm going to grab my needle, poke the other end in. Okay. And since I like the flower to have a few beady looking things, I'm going to put it in through here. I'm actually going to go ahead and put it through the back first. So I have to do weird angles. Okay. So 
through the center. Okay, now I'm in the back. Okay, so from the back, I'm going to angle towards her shoulder. So here we are coming out. Oh no, sorry, got caught in her legs. Coming out, sorry, it's sort of hard to see. So it's coming out this shoulder and there's this um, thread. Okay, and then I'm going to be putting it in through her other shoulder. And I'm going to angle it right back to that back center right here. Okay. And when you do, just make sure that you figure out the length you want. Okay. And then pull it through. And you basically just tie the end. So I'll usually just put it in through and do a nice little tie a couple times. Okay. There we go. And then I'll just kind of put it maybe through the skirt or somewhere. Okay, where you can't see. Yeah, maybe put it through here. Okay. Okay. And then cut the thread off. And there you go. Yay. Congratulations. You did it. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you soon. Bye bye.